family, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In my previous video, I showed you the dress hunting process for the Marine Corps ball, and in this video, I will be showing you my getting ready process and the final look. Two days before I go to any big event, I get a spray tan. This is my color coming in. You have to make sure you exfoliate before an appointment and also that you moisturize your hands, feet, elbows, and knees directly before you get a spray tan or else you can get some kind of weird coloring. This is before the spray tan. This is immediately after. You get an immediate golden glow and you kind of have to wait 48 hours to shower. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to go get my roots touched up before the ball on Saturday. I love a good fresh root situation. So I'm gonna go see my friend, Peach. My roots are about right here right now. So for the sake of the ball, I just wanted to get some fresh ones. And while I'm still in the Marine Corps, I gotta have more of a solid color than highlights. So I just get a bleach and tone. And then I use It's a 10 and this like OGX coconut oil, which is amazing to keep it healthy. Cool. This lovely lady did my hair once again. Did a great job. She's down at the Paul Mitchell in San Diego. Thank you. <laughs> so I am between two different hair clip options. This is option one. My second option is these clips. I put one on each side. And I'm gonna like Tease this area right here and like kind of give some soft waves. Maybe put in my extensions, maybe not, I don't know. But yeah. Pro tip, guys, if you lose your glove for your curler, you can use a sock. I lost mine. So the hairstyle that I'm gonna do is inspired by Gigi Hadid's Met Gala look. I'll put a little picture of that right here. I have a face mask on right now because it helps calm down my skin before a night's events. I'm gonna take my little hair extensions out here and curl these puppies. So my extensions are curled. They're from Bellamy, if any of you guys are interested. They're great extensions. I've had them for a while and they're still working like really, really great. And then I have my T3, which is from Costco, if you guys are wondering what kind of hair curler I have. So I'm just gonna show you guys like a few of the pictures that I'm kind of going for. So this one was promising. I like the hair clip idea. I'm gonna incorporate that somehow. I like that a lot. And then Gigi's hair. But hers isn't curled, but I'm gonna curl mine. I don't even really know how to tease hair, but we're gonna figure it out today. First, I combed my hair straight back and then separated it straight down the middle and then moved those two halves of my hair to each side. After I did the middle part, I separated my hair into individual sections and started to curl it. I holded it for about 10 to 15 seconds, held it in my hand, and then sprayed it with hairspray. I find that that makes my hair last the longest in curls, so I did that throughout my hair. After that, I individually put in each extension. I used a line of three in one, another line of three, and then I used one little waft on each side of my hair. Um, I probably could have put in a little bit more just to even it out, but I think it looked pretty decent and didn't look like I had too much hair going on. After I put in all the pieces, I separated them with my hands just to make them blend together. Then I moved on to attempting to tease my hair to add some volume to the back. Okay, I think I did it. I like teased the side. Sorry, I did it off camera, but I think it looks a little bit more voluminous, at least. All right, time to put in the clips. I got these from Nordstrom from a brand called Tasha. I then took a small piece of hair down from the bottom of the front of my hair and separated that from the hair that I was going to clip back, and I did that on each side of my hair. I like that. 
I think that's really cute. Like, what's this like? For primer, I used a vitamin rich face base by Bobbi Brown, and my foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Weed. I then went in with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade 4, which is fair, and I drew an upside down triangle underneath my eye, from out the corner of my eye all the way down to my nose. It is my favorite all-time concealer ever. After I did that and spot corrected my face where I have any blemishes, I went in and drew three lines in the middle of my forehead, as well as a line down my nose and on the tip of my nose. And right now I am blending it in with a damp beauty blender before I set my face. I set my face with La Mer, the powder. I use the little poof that comes with it and set my face first before I do my eyebrows. Now I do my eyebrows with my Benefit pencil. I do my brows very simply. I don't carve them out with concealer or anything. I'm not that fancy, but basically I do fill them in with hair-like strokes and then brush them out so it looks natural. After I finish my brows, I go in to contour my nose. I've been doing it this way lately. It just really saves a lot of time. I take like a highlighter brush and I take my bronzer and I go down my nose along the bridge of my nose and then I carve it out with my powder and it actually creates a very, very contoured look without drawing all the lines and it's just super simple and I find it's more flattering than me just like trying to carve out with a bronzer. So yeah, it's a... Um, Honestly, a trick that I learned from Nikki Tutorials, and I really appreciate it because it saves me a lot of time. After that, I take the highlighter from my Charlotte Tilbury Bronzing Highlighting Little Palette, and I take that down the bridge of my nose, and it, that's all I do with the highlighter. Then I take my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude, and I draw kind of a McDonald's M on my little cupid's bow there. I continue to line the rest of my lips and then prepare for the color that's going inside, which is KKW Beauty in one pink. It's a cream lipstick and I love it. This kind of lip style makes your lips look a lot bigger than they actually are with a dark lip liner and a light lipstick on the inside. And then I go in with a little bit of concealer and kind of carve it out. For eyes, I went in with my rose gold palette from Huda Beauty with the shade Henna going in my crease. I kind of created a triangle on the outside and drew that all the way towards the center of my brow and then towards the actual beginning of my brow. And I did that with both sides. And then after I did both sides of that, I kind of blended it out with a brush, very, very lightly went over it. Then I went in with the shade Coco to darken up the eye a little bit. Um, I did the same exact thing on both sides kind of and took it all the way in, um, just on the outer corner of my eye. Then I went back in with the shade Coco and took that down to my waterline after I blended the rest of my upper eye. And then I took that all the way down as if it were the eyeliner that I was putting underneath my eye. After that, I took my Makeup Forever white pencil and I lined the inner corner of my eye, my waterline. It creates this super cool effect of making your eyes look a lot bigger than they actually are. And then I went in and started baking and carving out my face with my favorite La Mer powder. I took a edge of a beauty blender and did both sides of my cheeks. And then I went in and started baking my under eyes. I kind of forgot to do this before. I normally do it early on in the process, but I just didn't. I completely forgot. I was kind of running a little bit late. Then I took a light shimmery color, kind of a champagne color on both inner corners of my eye to really open up my eyes. And then I went in with my Sumptuous Extreme Mascara from Estee Lauder, which is my all-time favorite. I lined both of my bottom lashes and my upper lashes. After that, I went and put a brow gel in from Hourglass. Stress, stress-free environment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all about living in a stress-free environment. See what I've learned with the combat <laughs> instructors is the privates are easy. The instructors made life difficult for each other. So, mm -hmm. in fact, with you, I'm just going to take it easy. You know, take it easy. Take it easy. There's no, there's no reason to rush. No stress. We have plenty of time. That's why Hank's always have, late. We have <laughs> until six. 59 to be seated. 659. That gives us. No, we still have to take pictures, honey. Okay, well, I'm just saying, worst case scenario, 659. Take your time. Do what you gotta do. I'm just gonna be out here, just watching some television and eating some food. Okay. Just take your sweet time. Um, that's really all I got. Mm hmm. You look very beautiful. Thank you. And I'm just gonna be out here. Okay. Take your time. 
will not be here. My stuff's in the driver, right? It is. I already, I already loaded up the Jeep. We're ready to rock. Okay, cool. Okay, just ignore like my nasty ass hands. So I got a spray tan and like I totally forgot to take off. Like I normally like wash my hands like right after I get a spray tan and I didn't this time. <laughs> So they look a little orange, but it's okay. These are the earrings that I got. I'm interested to see how these look with the hair clips. It doesn't look bad, right guys? Are they like too much or is it... Because I'm not going to wear a necklace. I don't think I did that bad with the eyeshadow, huh? Not that bad. Of course, I have to bronze up my face. So I went back in with my Charlotte Tilbury little palette with bronzer and highlighter. And I went in and kind of did the good old fashioned three, um, really carving out my cheekbones, carving out my jawline, and then putting a little bit of that on my forehead as well to kind of shorten that. So just really, you know, contouring out my face, give myself some cheekbones, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing, honey? This incense creates a stress-free environment. Don't, not around me. I don't want to smell like sage. Hey. <laughs> For cheekbone highlighter and everything else, I went in with my Bobbi Brown highlighter. It is amazing. And I went in with my cheekbones. I highlighted my forehead just a tiny, tiny little bit, as well as my chin just a little bit, just to really highlight those high points of my face. For lashes, I went to Sephora and I picked two. I ended up picking um, the House of Lashes Sephora in, I believe these ones were called Valentina and they are just gorgeous lashes and they really just make my eyes pop. You know, the, uh, lashes just add everything to a look I have found. Um, even if you have lash extensions, putting some actual lashes, like fake lashes on, I find really, really just make a look pop. Oh, uh, I said the Marine Corps ball, honey. What do you think? How'd I do? Good. Are you like I am on Instagram Live. Oh, they're the dogs. The dogs? Yes or no? Did I do it? Okay. Job. Sort of. I put on some gloss. This is from Fenty Beauty. Just to touch the finish the look. Alright. Um, it bounced off of me once more. Um, did it go in here? Oh All right, so this is the finished look. I'm about to go put my dress on. Kind of got ready with no pants on, but yeah. get to celebrate our anniversary. So I did a little something. We are on our way to the ball. Thank you. 